into your world. Okay? Or, on the other hand, you're trying to push something out. Okay? That's objectifying. Now let's see how it unfolds. Okay? We've got a 10. I'm going to hold them out. We got a 3. We got that 20. You know that. I don't have to tell you what that is. How about that, Mitzi? That surrender. That 25. The end of the matter. Remember what I always tell Surrender, surrender, surrender. 25, release. Huh? All right. So, I always say the end of the word. You know, the last letter is the end. The first letter is the beginning. Okay? That's the first. That's the beginning. When you're objectifying something, that's the end. And this part right here, this part right here, they are those sequences in life. You know, they can be the hours, they can be the days, they can be the months, the years, whatever you want to make them. But this is what happens in the middle, from this to this. But it's all one thing. The end is the beginning. The beginning is the end. It's like an accordion. It's all there. It's all that. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and add it up. 25. Uh, the end and beginning, that was the 25. Surrender. You have to surrender whatever control you think that you have and whatever you think that you're trying to make happen in your life and it's getting further and further away from you. 12, 15. Do you understand that? When you're trying to make something happen, you're actually, because there's always the end and the middle, there's the head and the butt, you know, what comes in goes out. We have it. It's all happening at the same time. So what you do is going to cause something else to be done. So if you're trying to make something happen, it's going further away from you. All right. But let's go. What do we got? What did I say? 15, 20. Why did I put 29 up there? Don't even, 20, don't even know where 25 came from. Oh, that's that letter. <laughs> Paula, 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 40. 45, 54. Make sure. 15, 25 is 40. I was talking about surrender is that last letter, yeah, of objectify. So, 25, 45, 54. That's a 9. All right. That's that human experience. And then we've got what? 12, 15, uh, 35, I think it's 35, it's going to be 41. 12, 15, 35, 41. There's that five again. There's that best. There's that best, best, best. Whatever you're trying to cause to become an object, cause to become an issue, a matter, a, a whatever, it is the best it can be, even when it's bad. Even when it's terrible, even when it's sorrowful, even when it's loss, even when it's difficulty, even when it's financial or mental or spiritual or sexual or physical or whatever. It's the best it can be. It's all part of the universe of the activity. Okay, so we've got a 41 and a 54 and I think that that is going to make 100. I believe it is. It's going to make a 100. And if it's 100, and if God came from nothing, created out of nothing, same sort of like we, you know, before we were the sperm and the egg met together, we were nothing. You know, the invisible into the visible. And you know, that I want to talk about that a little bit. And I'm going to use some terms. Don't attach too much meaning to them because it don't mean anything. But this whole deal of past lives and future lives and all that, the Bible says everything that was created was created. So it all exists. Every single bit of it exists. The beginning and the end and the middle. It's all here. It's all part of it. And we're on different frequencies. You know, if we're ETs, we're, on, we're existing on different frequencies. Not as Paula Andrea Pye or Mitzi or Sandy, but we are existing as something and someone and somehow and somewhere. And I'm not going to begin to try to dissect that because we can't prove it. 
but you can't prove anything. That's a good word, Missy. I might do that. Nothing can be proven. I'll do that in just a minute. Okay, what was I talking about? Oh, 100. So if this is God, and this is Goddess, hmm, what does that leave us? When you put one, the zero plus zero, when zero goes into zero and manifests itself, the God Goddess manifesting itself, making itself known, making itself flesh and dwelling among men, making itself flesh, the light making itself flesh and dwelling upon the earth or wherever else. Okay, equals one. Then that makes us the child of the celestial parents. Hmm. And if we're the child, masters of divine essence, we've just simply forgotten our heritage. If we are the child of this union, then I dare say, I dare say, let me see, let me turn it on back. I dare say we're about the best we can be. Don't get no better than this. We are children of the living God. I think Jesus said that too. In fact, that's why he was slain and hung on the cross because he didn't just say he was the Son of God. He told you you were too because he said greater things will you do when I go away. So, anyway, what else is on this page? Oh, okay. The next word that's on this page is energy. And I've been talking about the best energy. When I get up here on this board, I'm so close. You know, when you're so close on something, you can't see it. you got to back away. That's life. But anyway, sometimes I have some pretty fine spelling up here. Energy. Energy. Undisciplined. Uncontrolled. And not channeled is chaos. And out of chaos, the deep was the earth. The spirit moved upon the deep the waters of the deep, and created all that was created. So let's see what all of this rambling, tumbling, sexual, uh, electromagnetic, DNA-infused, nitrogenic being of energy. What is it? What is it? What do, what do we have? What do we have? See, we, we let our eyes betray us. We look in the mirror and we think this is it. We really think this is it. We have, and we believe. We believe so much in everything we can see and feel and touch and smell and all that. And that limits us. That absolutely limits us in what we will be able to incorporate. Because if you can't recognize it as truth, if you can't recognize it as truth, you can't incorporate it. Even though it's in you, it's buried down. And even though the majority of your life is produced by 4 or 5%, which is your subconscious, but that's another show too. Let's go on. Five. 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 <laughs> Nine. Seven. Seven. So we're going to start this show with some physical movement on this earth. We're going to end this show with release because we're going to die. We're going to transform. This is going to die. We're not going to die. We're not ever going to die. We can't die. So we know the gods got the end of this matter taken care of. And in the middle of it, we're going to move around a little bit. <laughs> like a nerd. <laughs> we're going to move around a little bit. Just a little bit. And let me see, 12, no, that's 10, that's 17. All right, you know what that is. That's that star, and you're in your own orbit. You've heard me talk about that. But what is a star? Nitrogen. What's that, the, what is that, the nucleus of a star? Hmm. I mean, okay, let's go on. 17 and 5 and 14 is 21. We got a dance going on here. We got an earth dance going on. We sure do. Got an earth dance going on with that 17. Yeah. And 
That's the dance of life. And it is us coming down here as this photon of life and bumping into walls while we're here. And then that makes, what does that make? All right. Does anybody want to come up here and take over the show? What does that make? When I add up that, what does that make? That makes a 38. What does 38 make? An 11. Mitzi, will you verify what is in the corner of that card? I know you can't see it. Please say what's in the middle of that card. 11. I mean the right, what is that, the left hand corner? 11. She's saying 11. Uh, what is that? 11. What is that? That is a vibration. You know how you vibrate when you have sexual orgasm? Okay. Vibration. We are walking sexual musical vibrations. Organic and orgasmic beings. Nitrogen filled, laced, streamed. We've got an encoded DNA filled with nitrogen. That's how it talks and tells everything, who we are, what we are, what color our eyes are, blah, 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 blah. Everything we're going to do, ever have done, will do, blah, 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 All of that. And the sun, the sun communicates with that. The sun. Not these people out here, blah, 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 blah. Not me standing up here, blah, 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 blah. The sun is communicating with me. And what I'm saying is I'm riding this horse to put this on this paper. 11. Now in the tarot cards, 11, why'd I put on that other thing? I might go back and do that. Is justice. Justice. Universal justice. Not what you think is right or wrong. Not what you think is good or bad. But that universal justice, this energy that we are, you know, entertaining in our lives makes for the whole shooting match to work in the midst of this chaos or what we deem as chaos. Let's see. 38161. One. Got a 7 in chaos. Got 1112. <gasps> Mitzi. You know, I couldn't... Uh, that's why I love this so much. Look! 712. 731. 7, 12, 7, 12, 19. What is that? The sun. If the sun goes out, well, we'll be out before, they, before it does. The power of the sun, the power of the sun, of the mother, father, What we consider God, the sun, the sun. We are the sons of God. We are the particles of that light. Hmm, that's a pretty good one. I enjoyed that a whole lot, a whole, whole lot. Now, I'm gonna look in here on 11, behind 11, and see if there's anything else that I need to be, there is, does it say? I guess that goes with that. Let me see, I'm gonna make sure, cause see if they are, yep, there's two cards, sure is. Okay, so I'm gonna put this 11 back in here and I'm gonna go with the rest of whatever this is saying. For this 11, this 11, um, cannot be still, has a lot of mouth, need to relax more, oh! Now I'm getting on down in some people's business here. These are people that's born on the 11th. They cannot be still. Has a lot of mouth. Well, we all have a lot of mouth, but I guess this particular people use it more than others. Need to relax more. They need to listen to their dreams. They are ir irritable and not understand why. They always need to understand something. And you know what else it says? They are the ones that receive to penetrate. Okay? Receive to penetrate. 
Hmm. And let me see what on there. See. Uh, the 11th day of the month is 2. Here you go. Whenever 11 is coming up, remember this. Or people that's born on the 11th. Is to remember. Alright. Remember and never forget. <laughs> The things, I love this, that you do are not to regret. Wow. How about that? Huh? Remember and never forget, the things that you do are not to regret. The things that you do. So you can't go back into your life and say, I wish I'd done this or had that or said this or, you know. Nope. It says, nope. It says, because 11 is universal justice. Remember, I put it on the other page. And remember, this is true. Remember? And it's the best moment we can have. What does that mean? That means you don't look backwards and say, you know, I could have been a better mother, I could have been a better wife, I shouldn't have done this, he wouldn't have left, she wouldn't have left. Um, no, that's not true. That's not true. That's not universal justice. If those things had worked differently from what you're calling it, then the whole shooting match wouldn't have worked. This is the best moment that you can have. Remember, and never forget, the things that you do are not to regret. So that would tell me that people born on the 11th would be filled with a lot of remorse and regret and gosh, when you get those nasty two critters inside of you, here comes guilt and shame and sorrow and whining and pining and blame. You know, so um, remember and never forget the things that you do are not to regret. It was the best thing that you could do at the moment. See, when people are talking to you and they say, well, I would do this or I would do that, that's right. Now, whether they would or they would not, that's a whole other matter and issue.